Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I've been using Notion ever since high school to organise basically my entire life together. It not only helps me organise my life, both as a student, it helps me organise my uni work, enhances my productivity, increases my engagement and overall just helped me to achieve a better grade. So today I will show you how I use Notion as a student to improve my productivity and boost my grade. So what is Notion? Simply put, it is a flexible and adaptable productivity and organisation platform that helps you keep track of everything, including taking notes and writing documents, creating task lists and managing projects, organising research and resources, collaborating with others on team projects, and creating wikis and knowledge bases. The possibilities are endless and you can use Notion in a way that works the best for you. One of the things that sets Notion apart is its versatility. You can use it on your computer, phone or tablet and it works seamlessly across all devices. Plus, it offers a range of formatting and customization options so you can make your pages look exactly the way you want them to. If you're tired of using multiple apps and tools to stay organized and get things done, give Notion a try. You might just find that it's the perfect solution for all your productivity needs. In this video, I'll break down on how to use Notion as a student into four steps. Note taking, organizing, revising, and collaborating. Firstly, how do we get Notion? You type Notion into your browser, you click on the first link, that will come up. And here you can try Notion for free or register um, for an account. And by the way, I use the free Notion myself. The paid version doesn't add too many upgrades. The free version is enough. However, I have um, donated to the creator of Notion because it is such an awesome platform for everything, right? And so you can have the Notion browser version uh, just on the browser, Notion for web, and or you can have the software version, which is the recommended version that um, I use. I won't be showing you the entire process of downloading Notion and signing up. I think you are capable of doing that yourself. If not, there's many other resources out there which shows you how to do that. And here I will just give you an overview of how Notion works. Here's the sidebar. Most people use the sidebar in Notion to uh, basically organize all of their pages. But what I like to do, I like to have one page or the dashboard, basically the main uh, browsing page for Notion. And here I would like to have all of my other small pages in here. As you can see, I've customized my Notion page a little bit with the weather, with the time and a little picture of Mac Miller, my favorite artist. Um, a quote, nothing, everything's random. You can customize your page however you want and you can make it much more prettier than mine. As you can see, all of these sections are under construction. But anyways, here I've got all my main pages. I've got timetable, which is just, you know, how I organize my life. Um, my calendar, everything is in there. My businesses and my uni work, workout, etc. You get the idea. So first, let's start with note taking using Notion. And here I have my main uni page. As you can see, I have all of my classes in here. And if I'm going to start a new class, I will just simply add it in here. And then I can customize however I want this class to look, depending on what uh, it is. If it is something like very mathy, uh, like a math unit, then I will do something different. If it is something just very information heavy, then I'll do something else different. So for example, let's look at my engineering 1013, which is basically just Python and uh, electronic units. And here I've got all of the weeks and the main uh, topics we learned during that week. And this is the uh, list. You can uh, have all of these subheadings, date created, what type of lesson was that, was it just a lecture, was it just reading notes, etc. So let's click into week six, for example, and you can see here, it looks very um, minimal. Doesn't look like I've taken many notes, but you can actually open these, what's called toggle list up, and then you can see how information heavy 
it was actually uh, in week six. And let's close these up. So toggle list is actually one of my favorite um, features for note taking. As you can see here, we have what is called blocks. You can drag these around to customize your page. You can put them anywhere. You can put them onto the side. You can type something here. But um, you can see hints here, type slash for commands. So if we type in slash, you have all of these basic block functions and features, including headings, you can put in a table bullet list. But my favorite, as we said, is toggle list. Your toggles can hide and show content inside. So basically uh, out here, it is just like a title. And uh, what is electricity, right? And then inside, once you open it up, you can type all of the notes needed uh, for what is electricity. And in this way, it just helps you um, organize your page, organize all of your notes, keep it much tidier, much simpler, uh, cleaner. Right, but also what this can do is the fact that you can toggle it is like um, almost like a flashcard, right? So if I'm revising in my notes, just looking through my notes, and I see up oh, voltage dividers, hmm, what is a formula for voltage dividers, right? I can think of, I can try to uh, write it down, and then I can check. Oh, okay, it is VI equals to VS, blah blah blah. So it can almost act like a flashcard. And this is a simple way of just organizing all of your notes together. And as you can see here, I also have many images that um, I put into these toggle lists. And imagine these toggle lists are all open. You, you have to scroll so, so much, so down, see all of the information and all of these examples down in here. Whereas I have all of these in the toggle list, you can just, uh, you can easily see what you want to um, revise and then you can just simply open it up, have a look and refresh your memory. All right, next, let's see how I organized uh, everything in Notion as a uni student. So instead of having a separate schedule or timetable for all of my uni assessment or exams, I keep everything into one my, uh, major main timetable and here I have all of my uni uh, assignment events you can see up here a couple months ago I was very busy with it during exam periods I have all of these things uh, practice exams or actual exam dates all of two, busy two weeks and I also have all of my social events just everything I need to do on that day I plan them here and if we go back to today, how you add something, you basically just simply click add and it will automatically create a page for you. And then you can just type into the anything you want to do that day, create Notion YouTube video. Right. And in the page, you can uh, add more detail. Um, so right now we are, we have done note taking, we are doing organized we're doing collaboration and what are we doing uh, can't remember but you can add way more detail into here and to delete that you simply click delete how do I get this timetable template then um, so to the back to the main page you have these blocks and type slash add a page you have all of these basic block and in here you can create a template. So there's many preset um, templates created by Notion already. So you can see live student product management design, and you can select many of these um, things from here already. Calendars, you can choose whichever one suits you. But another great thing about Notion is that we have a fantastic and a wide community. So. Instead of using the preset templates created by Notion, you can also go search up free templates online. Free Notion timetable templates. Okay. So, uh, let's see here. The so free student templates. 
see what we have. Yeah, so this one looks pretty good, school dashboard. If you're a high school student, you'll probably use this one. Let's see. Um, you can download this, go to your email. Let's get that. Um, ah, view content. And this takes you to the browser version of Notion. Right. And in here, you can try, you can simply click duplicate. It will take you um, having to log in. Oh, sec, not Apple ID. It will take you to log into your account, into the browser version. And now, if I find in, I can open the Notion software and here we go we've got oh, here we go we've got let's let it load i guess notion okay there we go so we add to my own workspace king's notion and there we go we have this template page here which we can just simply fill out and organize our school working we can Put that page into our main dashboard and it will appear on the bottom and then up here there we go so we have this notion template school dashboard as one of our main page for organizing we can change that into just school calendar and then we have down uh, what we need to do on each day it also shows you how to use the template most of the template you download online will show you these type of things so very, um, very simple, very convenient. If you are not creative like me or can't be bothered like me, you can just get it off the internet, to be honest. There's many good designs out there. Now, revising for exams or any assignments, tests with Notion is, as I mentioned before, very simple to do. So now let's look at uh, my economics course, Elasticity, right? So I've taken all of my notes like before in toggle list form and so what I need to remember um, when I need to revise for um, this topic elasticity for example if I need to remember the first three rules of price elasticity of demand I'll first write them down on paper and then I'll just open this up and see if I got them right so number one is existence of substitution. Number two, share of budget spent on goods. Number three, necessity versus luxuries. Right? All of these different notes, I open them up. It's basically, you can think of it as flashcard, like I said before. So you can think of the toggle title as a question. So what is the price elasticity of demand one to three? And then you open up, you've got the answer. Very simple. Now, lastly, let's talk about how you can use Notion to collaborate with other people. So just like Google Docs, um, you can create a Notion workspace that uh, with many people, you can work on it. So for example, um, I have this one workspace with four members in it. And in here, everyone can create things uh, together and edit and add to anything. So for example, uh, we didn't actually use this, but we have all of these um, side pages that we can all add it together. And in this, we can put down who this created by, who has edited your old show, um, and what time it has been last edited. So it is basically a better version of Google Docs online with all of the features of Notion you can use along with all of the other members together. And another thing is, if you go back to your own personal page, I can actually remember how before we used other people's Notion templates, we can actually share this with other people through email or share to the web. So we have all of this information we have in here, we can give to someone else. So if your friend asks for you for notes and you really don't want him to bother you anymore because exam period is coming up. 
you can just say, okay, I have all of my notes in Notion. You should download Notion, learn how to use it, and then you can use my notes. You're helping him at the same time with, you know, learning how to use Notion, getting used to it, and potentially organizing his life, changing his life. I don't know. Right. So that's how you can collaborate with other people through Notion. So there we go. That's our tutorial on how to use Notion as a university student. And that's my experience with using Notion. I hope you found it helpful and I'm excited to start using this powerful tool to boost your productivity and organization. But remember, the key to getting the most out of Notion is to experiment and find what works best for you. Don't be afraid to try out different features and customization options to find out what suits your needs. Thank you for watching my first YouTube video. I am excited to share more content with you guys. I hope you guys found it helpful or entertaining. I'm always looking for ways to improve. So if you have any feedbacks or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. And please leave a comment or send me a message and let me know what you thought. I'm also grateful for any support you can provide. If you enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Every little bit's help and I appreciate your support as I grow my channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.